I have two of our agents here, Nathan and Kathleen. So mm -hmm. Kathleen, introduce yourself. Jay, I'm so glad to be here. I'm Kathleen Holzhauer. I have been with the team for 12 years. I've been in real estate since the late 80s, and it has been a privilege to be part of this group and to really um, be in the thick of it, right? Yep. We're, we're definitely um, there. Very active. And you, Nathan? Yeah, so I'm Nathan Arnold. I've been off and on in the business, different states, but primarily in Virginia for uh, multiple years now, mm -hmm. right? And was so honored to be asked to join the Debbie Doral Associates team just because of the prestige that came along with the name of what Debbie originally built. So it's like getting called up from the minor leagues to play in the major leagues with uh -huh. the DDA team. So super grateful to be on the team. Thanks, Jay. So, you all have been kind of seeing this market which has been wild lately, and it's changed a little bit with the interest rates going up a little bit. So, Nathan, can you just tell us kind of what you're seeing lately in the last few weeks with the higher interest rates? Yeah, absolutely, Jay. So, one of the things that I've been noticing is just like the importance of the home's appearance, right? The presentation of the home. Like specifically when buyers are walking into homes and they're looking at the overall presentation of the home, it's become much more tantamount. It's like extremely important. Like even before it was important, right? Mm -hmm. But we were seeing houses that were like not updated or lightly updated, still yeah. getting multiple offers. Yeah. And in this particular market, it's starting to shift to a place of where the houses that look the best are really determining their market and still getting the things that they want, right? Right. Yeah. Kathleen, what are you seeing? Well, similar to what Nathan said, it's definitely uh, still a seller's market. Mm -hmm. um, we're not getting quite as many offers as we were before. So no more 10, 15 offers? You know, if it's priced correctly in our market today, you may expect a couple offers. Okay. Um, or you may be on the market for a couple of weeks before you do accept an offer. Mm -hmm. uh, we're seeing that the buyers have a chance to ask for things that they couldn't in the earlier spring market. Mm -hmm. uh, that would include home inspections or appraisal contingencies, things like that. Um, you know, we've been doing this for so long, Jay, that this isn't new for us. This is actually a market that resembles the pre-pandemic time. So like a more of a normal spring market. Yeah. Just a more normal market, which if everything goes correctly, might help us have a sh shallow uh, slowdown. Mm -hmm. So instead of being like this polar, you know, freeze, um, we'll maybe just have a nice cooling of a ceiling fan. That's, that's great information. Nathan, are you seeing any like massive price drops so it just kind of depends, right? It depends on the area that the house is in. It mm -hmm. depends on, like, was the house, like, originally maybe too, you know, a, too high, potentially, yeah. right? Yeah. Did they overprice the house originally too much? The thing I wanted to note on what you were just talking about, Kathleen, is interest rates, right? Like, mm -hmm. we were just literally doing some training talking about interest rates and looking back over decades and how the interest rates are now versus decades past. Mm -hmm. And if you do that, then you'll see that the interest rates now, even being in the fives, are still very good, right? Yeah, true. Yeah. True. But I mean, maybe over the last year, a couple of years, it's higher. But if you were to look over history, it's actually still a very good time to purchase a home and rates are still really good at this particular point. Yeah. But to go back to what you were saying, Jay, yes, I, I've started to see a lot of homes start to dr decrease their pricing. Yeah. Um, maybe they were a little more aspirational with their desires and thinking about how the market was previously. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, the market cool off started to come slightly, you know, people going on vacations, graduations, yeah. many different reasons why buyers are maybe out of the market right now. Uh, so yes, to answer yeah. your question. So Kathleen, you have put two homes under contract recently right. that did not sell the first weekend. Mm, yeah, and so we've definitely prepared our clients that this is, um, this is where we are today. Mm -hmm. uh, and so don't take a massive price decrease. And I'm so glad you mentioned that, Nathan, because when you have your fingers on the pulse of the market, you can help your clients position themselves in today's market. Not two months ago, not even three weeks ago, yeah. but today. And when you know that you're the best looking house at the best price, boy, that's when you're going to succeed, right? Yes. 
Great information. Thank you both for spending a few minutes with me here.